everyone welcome to topic of the day in this edition we are going to discuss about india's solar energy targets now recently the jmk research and analytics and the institute for energy economics and financial analysis which is a us non profit organization gave a report in which they stated that india is likely to miss out its 2022 target of installing 100 gigawatts of solar power capacity let's talk about some of the major highlights of this report as of april only about 50% of 100 gigawatt target consisting of 60 gigawatt of utility scale and 40 gigawatt of rooftop solar capacity has been met nearly 19 gigawatt of solar capacity is expected to be added in 2022 so by december 2022 there is likely to be a shortfall of around 25 gigawatts from the 40 gigawatt rooftop solar target and 1.8 gigawatt from the 60 gigawatt utility scale solar target so let's discuss on the possible reasons for shortfall in these targets first of all the covid-19 pandemic induced supply chain disruption then we have policy restrictions and regulatory roadblocks taxes on imported cells and modules leading to rise in installation cost and then we have unsigned power supply agreements and banking restrictions So what can be the possible measures to get India back on track to meet the solar targets the short term measures include uniform policies to apply nationally for at least next 5 years and consistent regulations for net metering and banking facilities and in the long term stricter enforcement of renewable purchase obligation and improved financial health and also potentially privatizing the distribution companies that is discoms now let us talk about india's solar policy and benefits India currently ranks 5th after China, the United States, Japan and Germany in terms of installed solar power capacity. Since 2011, India's solar sector has grown at a compounded annual growth rate of around 59% from 0.5 gigawatt in 2011 to 55 gigawatt in 2021. Under the National Solar Mission, the total installed capacity target was set as 20 gigawatt by 2022. In 2015 the target was revised to 100 gigawatt and in August 2021 the government set a solar target of 300 gigawatt by 2030 We also have the International Solar Alliance that was conceived as a joint effort by India and France to mobilize efforts against climate change through the deployment of solar energy solutions If we talk about benefits of solar energy energy security reduction in pollution mitigation of adverse impact due to climate change and reducing a dependence on fossil fuels that put a strain on foreign reserves Now let us take up a practice question on this topic consider the following statements First India's solar sector has grown at a compounded annual growth rate of around 59% from 0.5 gigawatt in 2011 to around 55 gigawatt in 2021 second india currently ranks second after china in terms of installed solar power capacity and third in august 2021 the government set a solar target of 300 gigawatt by 2030 now which of these statements given above are correct you can write your answers in the comment section below So the correct option is option number C that is only the first and third statements are correct the second statement is not correct as india currently ranks fifth after china united states japan and germany in terms of installed solar power capacity and statement 1 is correct since 2011 india's solar sector has grown at a compounded annual growth rate of around 59% from a 0.5 gigawatt in 2011 to 55 gigawatt in 2021 Again statement 3 is also correct that is in August 2021 the government set a solar target of 300 gigawatt by 2030 and it is under the national solar mission so under the national solar mission the total installed capacity target was set as 20 gigawatt by 2020 in 2015 this target was revised to 100 gigawatt and in August 2021 the government has set a solar target of 300 gigawatt by 2030 So the correct option is option number C. Well that's all for today's topic of the day for regular updates you can follow us on our social media handles and for more such videos do stay tuned to the next IAS YouTube channel.